Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon. Today we're diving headfirst into a topic that's both fascinating and a little bit scary, hacking gadgets. So buckle up, smash that like button for the algorithm, and let's get started. First up, we've got a device with a name that sounds way more delicious than it actually is, the Wi-Fi Pineapple. This little device is the ultimate wolf in sheep's clothing, disguised as a harmless little dongle. See, the Wi-Fi Pineapple works by creating fake Wi-Fi hotspots that mimic legitimate ones. Think Starbucks Wi-Fi or Airport Lounge. Unsuspecting users eager to hop online connect to these fake hotspots without a second thought. Once connected, the Wi-Fi Pineapple acts like a man in the middle, intercepting all your data, passwords, credit card info, you name it. It can even redirect you to malicious websites designed to steal your information. The worst part is these attacks are often completely invisible. You could be sitting in your favorite coffee shop sipping your latte, completely unaware that your online activity is being monitored. So how do you protect yourself? Be cautious about the Wi-Fi networks you connect to, especially public ones. Always look for the official network name and password, and if you're unsure, it's always best to ask a staff member. Next up, we've got a tool that's less about trickery and more about brute force. I'm talking about Hashcat. This bad boy is a password-cracking beast, capable of tearing through billions, even trillions of password combinations per second until it finds the right one. Hashcat leverages the power of your graphics card, or GPU, to dramatically speed up the password cracking process. GPUs are designed for handling massive amounts of parallel processing, which makes them perfect for this kind of task. Hashcat's real strength lies in its ability to use dictionary attacks and rule-based attacks. It takes huge lists of commonly used passwords as well as variations of those passwords and tries them all in rapid succession. So, what can you do to protect yourself? A strong, unique password for each and every one of your online accounts is an absolute must. Use a combination of upper and lowercase letters, numbers, and symbols, and aim for at least 12 characters. Now let's talk about a device that can clone your RFID cards without breaking a sweat, the Proxmark 3. This little gadget is like something straight out of a spy movie, capable of reading and emulating RFID signals with ease. For those who don't know, RFID stands for Radio Frequency Identification. It's the technology used in things like contactless payment cards, key cards, and even some passports. The Proxmark 3 can read the data stored on these cards, as well as transmit its own signals, effectively cloning your cards. Imagine someone walking past you with a Proxmark 3 hidden in their bag or pocket, and within seconds, they've got a copy of your credit card information. So how do you protect yourself? Use RFID blocking wallets and card sleeves. These are designed to block the radio signals that RFID readers use, making it much harder for attackers to steal your information. Another important step is to be aware of your surroundings. All right, time to talk about a device that's less about subtle hacking and more about instant destruction, the USB killer. This unassuming little gadget might look like a regular USB drive, but trust me, you do not want to plug this thing into your computer. The USB killer is designed to deliver a massive surge of electricity through its USB port, instantly frying the internal components of any device it's connected to. We're talking motherboards, CPUs, RAM, you name it, the USB killer can fry it. The USB killer was originally designed to test the surge protection capabilities of different devices. However, it didn't take long for it to fall into the wrong hands, and now it's become a real threat. So how do you protect yourself? Never ever plug an unknown USB device into your computer. Treat any unknown USB drive like a ticking time bomb, because in the case of the USB killer, that's exactly what it is. Let's talk about a device that can bring your digital life to a screeching halt, the Wi-Fi Jammer. This device is essentially a radio wave disruptor, capable of blocking Wi-Fi signals within a specific radius. It effectively creates a dead zone for wireless communication, making it impossible for devices to connect to the internet or each other. Some people use them to prevent cheating on exams or to stop employees from wasting time online. Others might use them for more malicious purposes, like disrupting business operations or even creating opportunities for other types of attacks. So, how do you protect yourself from a Wi-Fi jammer attack? Unfortunately, there's not a whole lot you can do if you're caught in the middle of one. 
the best defense is to be aware of the potential for jamming attacks and to have a backup plan for internet access, like a mobile hotspot or a wired connection. Stay vigilant and report any suspicious activity. Next up, we're diving into the world of Bluetooth hacking with a device called BlueSniff. This little gadget is specifically designed to exploit vulnerabilities in Bluetooth connections, allowing attackers to intercept and eavesdrop on your private conversations. Think about all the devices you use that rely on Bluetooth wireless headphones, speakers, smartwatches, even your car. BlueSniff works by scanning for active Bluetooth connections and then attempting to pair with those devices without your knowledge or consent. Once paired, it can access all sorts of information, including your contacts, call logs, text messages, and even your phone's microphone and camera. So, how do you protect yourself from becoming a victim of BlueSniff? Always be mindful of the Bluetooth devices you pair with. Avoid pairing with unknown devices, and if you're not actively using Bluetooth, turn it off. It's also a good idea to keep your Bluetooth devices updated with the latest security patches. Manufacturers are constantly working to fix vulnerabilities, so make sure your devices are running the latest and greatest software. Let's talk about the potential dangers of smart home devices and the hacking tools that can turn your connected haven into a nightmare. Enter the Smart Home Exploiter, a device that's designed to infiltrate your home network and take control of your smart devices. Think about all the devices in your home that are connected to the internet, smart lights, thermostats, security cameras, even your refrigerator. These exploiters work by searching for vulnerabilities in your home network and connected devices. They often target outdated firmware, weak passwords, or unsecured network configurations to gain access. So how do you protect yourself? Make sure your home Wi-Fi network is secured with a strong password and WPA2 or WPA3 encryption. Avoid using default passwords on your smart devices and keep your firmware up to date. Invest in a reputable security suite for all your connected devices and be cautious about the information you share with your smart home devices. Let's talk about a stealthy device called the IMSE Catcher. It tricks your phone into connecting to it, intercepting your calls, texts, and data. It exploits how phones connect to towers by emitting a stronger signal. Once connected, it intercepts all communications. It can track your location and identify your SIM card. How do you protect yourself? Be aware of your surroundings and unusual phone activity. Keyless entry systems can be vulnerable to hacking tools that unlock your car in seconds. These tools exploit weaknesses to unlock and start your car without a physical key. They intercept and amplify radio signals between your key fob and car. Be vigilant when locking and unlocking your car. Use a steering wheel lock or a Faraday pouch for extra security. Check for software updates or security patches from your car manufacturer. All right, for our final dangerous device, we're going back to the world of Wi-Fi with a tool that can kick you offline with the push of a button, the Wi-Fi Dother. This device is designed to exploit a vulnerability in the way Wi-Fi networks handle something called deauthentication frames. Deauthentication frames are actually a normal part of the Wi-Fi protocol. However, Wi-Fi deuthers abuse this mechanism by sending out a constant stream of deauthentication frames to a specific device or even an entire network. This effectively disconnects all devices from the Wi-Fi network, causing widespread disruption. So how do you protect yourself from a Wi-Fi deuther attack? Unfortunately, there's not a whole lot you can do to prevent these attacks directly. However, you can minimize the impact by having a backup plan for internet access, like a mobile hotspot or a wired connection. Stay vigilant and report any suspicious activity to the network administrator or authorities. And there you have it, folks. 10 of the most dangerous hacking gadgets out there that you need to know about. From Wi-Fi pineapples to USB killers, these devices highlight the importance of staying vigilant and taking cybersecurity seriously. Remember, knowledge is power, and by understanding these threats, we can better protect ourselves and our data. Now, I'm curious to hear from you. Which of these devices did you find the most concerning? Let me know in the comments down below. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to the channel for more awesome tech content. Stay safe out there, and I'll catch you in the next one.